Good morning, I'm James. And I'm Millie. And welcome back to another day of our Maldives holiday <laughs> thing, travel, whatever you well, freaking want to call it. Vacation. We've, yeah, we've, we've woken up with a bit of optimism today. It's very windy outside. I'm looking outside now as I'm speaking to you and the swells are freaking massive <laughs> because the wind's picked up. It's very windy outside. And we're going on a boat. Yeah, we're doing the half day experience today. So it's an hour searching for dolphins. Then we do Tsunami Island for like 40 minutes. And then we go to a deserted sandbank where we can get to do some snorkeling, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm just looking at the water. I'm going to show you this water because it's... Look how big them bloody Doesn't swells are. Do justice, though, to be we're going to go have breakfast. We're not filming breakfast for you because we've done it most days and it's the same shit every day now. We'll see we've seen dolphins, dolphins, hopefully. 200 of them someone saw the other day. So please. Oh, and we also we should have a dolphin cruise later on today. So if you don't like animals, probably not the best video for you to watch if you don't know wildlife. Who doesn't love wildlife? Well, there's a lot of people out there that don't like animals. They sorry. prefer humans instead. Sorry, I, sorry, I, I, we can't I prefer be friends. animals. Yeah. We can't be friends. If you don't like animals, we can't be friends. No. Nope. <laughs> We're just chilling here before we do our Tsunami Island trip. I think there's a lot of people going on this trip. Anyway, I can't remember what I showed you, but we have all the gear with us. No Got idea. two separate bags, own flippers, snorkel in there, my own life jacket. This is a life jacket in the room. Our own beach bag, which we can take home. Ellie's got a snorkel and flippers in. And now we're just waiting to go on the trip. And then we'll show you the journey there. Keep your fingers crossed we'll see some dolphins very soon. Please, dolphins, come Please, out. please, we need them. Going on our tsunami trip. I'm taking no chances because I'm wearing this life jacket. So I've seen the boat rock. And I don't want to fall out and drown. We're fine. Yeah. So the boat, we were, I think we're going on that one. Yeah. But if you can see it, it's f***ing rocking loads. Yeah, we are going on it, okay. So, wish us luck. I mean, look at the water here. It doesn't really give you justice, still looks nice. But this, this is gonna be done up very shortly. So as you can see, we're now on Tsunami Island. We're gonna have a little guide around. We're here for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Where they're gonna tell us how the tsunami happened. So far we've learned on Tsunami Island, there was 3,400 people that used to live here. And the tsunami happened back in 2004. And this was one of the worst affected islands out of the whole of the Maldives. They never rebuilt on it because it's too, the island's too small basically for locals to come back. Too small? Yeah. Really, too small? It's massive. There's a massive hospital and a church and out on the building. Yeah. And we're getting a local tour and a mosque as well that you can see in the background, which is pretty cool to see. So this is the only mosque on the island. As you can see, it's still in pretty good shape to be fair. We've got an upstairs and a downstairs. On the island when the tsunami came, there were two and a half metre waves and the government said they didn't want to build on here because one, the local people didn't want to come back and two, they want to keep it as a memorial from the tsunami. Back yeah. in 2004, so 15 years ago this happened. We'll be going on to 16 years soon. It's quite sad. Devastating, there was a school, big tall building behind us, there was a school and he's going to go show us some more areas downstairs which that's really sad to see. So, I don't know if you can see behind me, but we are in a school, uh, or we used to be a you. school, sorry. Yeah. Wasn't it? It used to be a school. And James just went upstairs and on the wall it says, an apple a day keeps the water away. It's quite sad, really, thinking that this used to be a school. Only one person lost their life. Um, but. Over yeah. 3,400, they just left, didn't they? Yeah. They obviously yeah. had the warning that it was coming. It's really um, sad. It's really, really, really horrible. Sad, yeah. sad to see all these buildings derelict and not in use. I mean, this school we're in now. 
It's horrible to see, 15 yeah. years. I've never been in a building like this. No. But it's just horrible to see. Yeah. Everything just destroyed this two and a half meter like, wave. 15 years ago. Ago? Yeah. To think that there was little children in the school and no, all you know, learning all the locals and everything. on this island. So. Yeah, so sad to see. And people graffitiing. I mean, people, you're going to get that in derelict <laughs> buildings. We got mosquitoes on already. Yes. Right, we can hear them all buzzing around our ears and everything. Go away. But it's really sad. It's <laughs> got mozzies flying by. And oh, they're everywhere. And everything. So um. Oh, yeah, look, the mozzies are rife around it. What, you just had one on your knee? Bloody hell. Yeah, we're going to go down because there's, like, when I mean there's mosquitoes everywhere on this island. It's one thing, if you're thinking about doing this island trip, make sure you bring lots of mozzie spray. Yeah, but it's not working. Like, it's no, it's not working because mozzies like everything. Bring your spray, spray more, and spray even more than that. Trust me, you're going to need it because you can see them everywhere around here. Because I'll you today, fumigate where it's uninhabited, you're just going to get them everywhere. You can just hear them buzzing around your ears and everything. Very annoying. So we just got here on Picnic Island. As you can see, glorious white sand, lovely blue sea. Beautiful. And there's a reef behind us just here where you can snorkel. So it's going to be a first snorkeling time when we're here, yeah. aren't we? And it's going to be glorious. So we're just going to get, not literally, a kit off. Kind of. Get your toots out. So, bird's eye view of the island. Well, it's not bird's eye. I wish I could. Glorious picnic island. So this is all the reef here. So we just get in and then swim. No, I haven't. So here we are. All good. All ready to go in for a snorkel, yeah? Getting my tits out. No, you're not. Yeah. We're getting ready? No. <laughs> so we're going for a snorkel. <laughs> oh God, trying to get in the water. They say it'll be easy. From our trip really and it's good. freaking amazing also the weather's probably turned out one of the nicest days we've had today yeah, and we couldn't really have asked for any better weather no, could yeah. we for our trips even walking up the walkway here is fucking burning Burn. your feet so when you come to the maldives and you've got a lot of water villa like this 
Just be prepared to leg it in bare feet. Or, it, or do the sensible thing and carry flip-flops. Yeah, we've got lunch at the... It's going to be at the green carpet. It's going to be the scorching carpet. Because anything that's not in the shade, you'll just burn to death. You'll get calluses on your feet here after a week. So you kind of get used to, like, the bitty bits mm. on your feet. I did some snorkelling on uh, what was called Picnic Island, which was really cool. Saw loads of parrotfish and everything. And I was really petrified because I'm not a great swimmer, if anyone knows. I just went for it and it was good fun. So I bought my own flippers and life jacket. They were really great. But Loved if you it. haven't got a life jacket, this was provides you with life jackets in each room or you can get them from the water or a water sports center flippers, flippers well, are free, and they? snorkel so yeah They're you free, don't even they? need to bring your own and this the life jackets are really good here so if you're not a confident swimmer yeah, um, yeah. I mean, everyone Look. used the life jacket today pretty much, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and they're not the life jackets to make you sick they're like well you would have saw earlier they're, they're like that but like Yamaha orange and black kind of thing and the, the water's kind of calmed down a little bit it's really yeah. nice outside yeah. now we'll show yeah. you when we get out on the walk to the green carpet but we're gonna go for lunch now well, and we've got a dolphin time. cruise we didn't see any dolphins earlier but i'm hoping please fingers crossed we get to see dolphins later because it'll be so unlucky if we don't get to see them no, twice yeah it'd be amazing but hopefully they come out for sunset i hope what i don't tell you is when you're walking on the jetty you start walking and then you power walk like this and then you run and then you stop at the water station to cool your feet down and then 10 seconds later or probably less than that you start bloody burning again so, water stop here, quick, quick. Get water on her feet. Oh, quick, do mine. It's so burning. Lift oh. your feet up a minute. Yeah, next one, quick. This is a must in the Maldives on a hot day. Taking a lovely stroll after lunch. Dip our feet in the water. Oh, so nice. We've got to go to the dolphin cruise in about 40 minutes. So we're just gonna pot around outside. And then hopefully we'll see some dolphins. Keep your fingers Yay. crossed for us. I think there might be some light rain in the background. Lovely. But apart from that, I really hope we get to see some dolphins today because it'll make that make the day, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. We're walking in the rain. Yeah, Ellie told me, should I bring the camera just in case it rains? Bring the camera? Uh, I mean, bring yeah, the bring the brolly in case it rains. <laughs> I'm glad you told us to bring it. We're heading to reception waiting for our dolphin cruise now. So here we are to reception. Hopefully they don't cancel this because of the weather. <laughs> James. So that dolphin cruise was pretty pants. It was a Prosecco cruise more than anything. Didn't really see the sunset. Didn't see the sunset. I got a glimpse of it. Probably a little bit of the best sunset we've seen since we've been here. Yeah. In five nights. Yeah, so we can't always be lucky. We got very lucky last year in Kurudu. Yeah. We saw pretty much everything. Done so, everything. It was amazing. The weather was amazing. Yeah. This year is not our luck. Nope. So we're so. going to head for dinner now, which we've missed a reservation by about 15 minutes. Yeah. And then we'll catch you later. We are starving now. Do you want to see something we've come back to that we weren't entirely expecting? Minute, how many years have we been married? Three. Three. Is this our honeymoon? No. No. <laughs> but you, and me, two. <laughs> you and me obviously think it's our honeymoon because yeah. look at this. It's very sweet. Very lovely, but I just want to go to bed. <laughs> it's uh, it's oh, really nice. Michigan. The petals are nice. Yeah, On good. the end, isn't they? It's like a little tree. We've probably got fans in our bed. Fans, fans. Happy honeymoon, chicken. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Happy honeymoon. Three years uh, on. Yeah, exactly. Right, we've had a really good day today, apart from the dolphin cruise, just really <laughs> unlucky. We've seen dolphins wherever we've been, mm -hmm. and today was just not a luck, I think. No. I mean, it's all six little swifts on the, on the sea. <laughs> oh, we still one flying fish. Yeah, that's it. Uh, highlight was 
probably cheers in that Prosecco glass, wouldn't it? Because other than that, we were just floating around the Indian Ocean <laughs> earlier. Just bobbing and that's about. about it. Yeah, Knocking we, about in the Indian Ocean. We had a dinner, like we just had pizza and stuff, and she had a little bit of sushi. So it weren't too much to show you. If you've made it this far in a video, obviously give it a like for us. And if you like the video, give it a like, give it a share. Your friends and family on social media and that, that'd be great. And also, most of you watching these videos aren't subscribed, over 80%. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. See some more videos. It's the last day, last full day tomorrow. Which is really sad. And our friends go home tomorrow as well, which is really sad. Because we're going to miss them. Home. No, you don't. I don't want to go home. I could get sad. I could cry for leaving here because it's just if you've never been it's just been... a very special place the Maldives like I'm, I'm pretty sure anyone that's been to the Maldives says exactly the same thing no yeah because it is it's really really special yeah, it bloody is special so, like if anyone's thinking of coming just bloody just do, do it do and it. book it like try and make something work if you smoke cut back if you drink cut back make it work save and how the we... only reason why we, we're able to do it is because we don't drink we don't smoke no. we don't Go out socialising. And I mean, when I say this, every single penny goes into the savings pot. Yeah. Every single penny. Literally every single penny yeah. we save from we work. We budget each month for obviously all our house bills and mortgage and stuff like that. Petrol, Any spare money we have yeah. goes into a holiday vault. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so. so that's how we do it, if anyone wants to know. Yeah. But um, enough said, we should have ended this like a minute ago. So, thanks for watching. Thank you so much. And for then watching. we'll see you tomorrow morning. And we'll see you next week. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye.